Microorganisms are everywhere. They affect everything. In fact, they're essential to the functioning of our planet. We couldn't drink coffee or wine or even eat cheese without them. This understanding has given new life to the field of microbiology. And now, we can peer into the complex microbial world for answers to challenges in animal production. Microbial terroir is the cornerstone of Arm & Hammer's research and development program. The latest and most specific way to determine a farm's microbial challenges, the Microbial Terroir Platform analyzes, characterizes, and develops customized microbial solutions for animal ag, food quality, and safety. Terroir is a French word that means a sense of place. It's the makeup of everything in the local environment that affects the characteristics of a product made there. Microbial terroir is used to describe the unique microbial communities in the GI tract of an animal that are impacted by the environment feed, ingredients, water, and the animal itself. With our on-farm microbial terroir assessments, we can identify distinct microbial pathogens in poultry operations to build resiliency and improve health and efficiency. This helps us better understand the disease threshold within the flock. Through this proprietary technology and analysis, we can customize a targeted microbial solution for avian pathogenic E. coli, or APEC, as well as Clostridium perfringens challenges updating it continually based on a routine monitoring program. Here's how it works. Gastrointestinal sampling is used to estimate the levels and types of APAC, Clostridia, and other pathogenic threats in the GI tract of poultry by a systematic sampling across the flock's life cycle and location. Samples are collected to identify the potential sources of pathogenic bacteria on the farm. After arriving at the lab, the samples are processed and plated on agar media to culture and count APEC and Clostridium populations. Representative colonies from each sample are picked, and the DNA is isolated to further confirm the identity and type of the bacteria. Multiplex PCR is then used to determine if a colony has certain unique genes that identify it as pathogenic or non-pathogenic species. A DNA fingerprinting method known as rapid PCR then determines the diversity of the pathogenic populations and which isolates are closely related. Isolates that are 75% or more related form a cluster in a tree diagram called the dendrogram. Isolates are selected from each cluster to represent the overall diversity or microbial terroir of pathogens from a farm for inhibition testing. APEC and Clostridium perfringens isolates from each cluster are tested for inhibition with the supernatants of each commercial bacillus strain. The compiled inhibition of each strain tested against each bacillus is used to make a heat map. The bacillus strains with the broadest inhibition are selected and used to create a customized Sertillus formula. At periodic intervals, routine sampling and retesting is done to ensure the bacillus strains selected are working as well as they can. If new pathogens are found, the product is reformulated to best serve the poultry operation's needs. In addition to the microbial terroir process, our lab also uses microbiological and molecular methods to investigate other diseases facing today's poultry operations to help them address ever-changing health and production challenges. Our goal remains constant, better serve poultry and egg producers by understanding important intestinal poultry pathogens and identifying new, more effective ways to build resilience and solve challenges from our collection of nearly 60,000 potential probiotic strains.